Hey guys, it's Steve on the Guru Brew 2. I had a customer that brought a laptop to me and a power spike went through the ethernet cable from the cable modem. It took out the cable modem and it also took out the Wi-Fi and the ethernet adapter on the actual laptop. So the laptop isn't going to get the internet no more. And this is a common problem. A lot of times you'll get power spikes in bad weather that will just take out certain components on the motherboard and even though the computer runs and functions fine if you don't have an ethernet or wireless port you're not going to be able to use it, the internet well my customer was thinking about buying a new machine and I reminded them that you can use the USB port for the for the internet and you can use the P PCI slot let me talk about them a little bit this is a PCI adapter and most modern laptops, full-size laptops, offer a PCI slot and this just slides right in. Here's a laptop here and you can see it just fits right down in here like that. This is the antenna and this sticks out slightly and also there's a light on there. This is a great solution and it'll give you the internet. There's also um, USB choices and of course you could use one of these. I reviewed this in a another video that I had on the Guru Brew and this would just plug in to your USB port here on the back. There's a couple of them here and you know you're going to always have USB ports. And you can also do this on a desktop too. I mean there's no reason why you couldn't use this antenna on a desktop. Especially if it was in a room that wasn't real convenient for the Ethernet. They also have these things. This is a network adapter. It's a USB, but it, it goes from USB to Cat5, which would be a regular, you know, Cat5 wire. And um, th this is an internal card that will work with a desktop type computer. And this also plugs into a available PCI slot. And then this antenna sticks out the back and you can swivel it and turn it around. So I just wanted to remind you that if you have a computer that has a bad Ethernet port or wireless port on it, all hope is not lost. You can find several solutions to plug in to your computer that will give you Ethernet or wireless connections. So I just wanted to remind you of that. I hope you got some use out of this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time real soon. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the GuruBrewShow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.